Okay, we are going to go ahead and get started. Welcome everybody. This is the January 2020 HMIS user meeting. If you haven't already, please enter your agency name into uh, the chat box so we can know who's participating and we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, so the, we have a quick agenda for you. We're on the report cards um, as well as the upcoming Hick and Pit. We're going to talk about the system performance report and the HMIS calendar and then share the agenda for tomorrow's um, data and performance management meeting. Uh, Adriana. Good morning, everybody. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So we're going to send data quality corrections for quarter four of 2019 this week. So probably it's going to be by tomorrow. Uh, these corrections are due on Wednesday, January 22nd. And it's not necessary for you guys to let us know when you complete the corrections since we know that they're completed when we rerun the report. After the corrections are completed, we're going to publish the report cards at the end of the month. And the reporting period for these report cards is October 1st to December 31st of last year. That's it for report cards. Do you guys have any questions? Um, I'm not seeing anything in the chat. So I'm going to keep going. Okay, perfect. Thank you. He can pit. So is this this time of the year again? So the Haken and Shelter pit count is scheduled for Monday, January 27th, and all the answer forms and cover sheets are due to 201 on Friday, January 31st at the end of the day. Uh, there are no major changes in the process in comparison to last year, so that is really good news. And we are right now putting together an email with step-by-step -step instructions and training information that we're going to send to you guys very, very soon. So please be in the lookout for that. And I think that's the information that we have so far to share. All right. Any um, I'm not seeing any questions. Um, so I'm going to keep going. Thank you. Um, Casey? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, so first we want to say thanks to everyone who's completed the corrections we sent out a few weeks ago for the system performance measures. Um, we're working on the report now and it will be reviewed at the COC board meeting on February 26th and then promptly submitted to HUD on February 28th. Um, at the end of February, we'll be releasing, <coughs> excuse me, a report comparing this year's data to all previous year's data, and we will also publish that on the website and probably talk about it at the March um, HMIS user meeting. So if you're interested, be on the lookout for that. We got a question if the slides can be shared. Yes, we do. Um, we'll send out an email wrap up probably uh, before Friday or possibly Monday, and it'll um, include the minutes and the recording and, and the slides from this meeting um, for your reference. Um, I'm not seeing any other questions, so I'm going to keep going. Um, Linda? Um, let's see. Hello. Yes. Do you want to share your okay. screen? Um, yes. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So good morning, everyone. Um, so I know that some of you guys have been asking us to put a schedule together for you guys, um, just so that it's easier to keep track of any upcoming due dates or events. So we did put um, a calendar together for you guys. 
um, so you guys will be able to access it um, on the OCHMIS website. To the left um, of the page, and right under the, the helpful link section. So um, it'll be right here at the OCHMIS calendar. Um, so you guys can just click on that. And then uh, we included information, um, important information such as the due dates for the, all the different um, project performance reports, um, the system performance measures, and also the ALSA. Um, and then we also included dates for when the PPRs have been published to the OC HMIS website. And for every time um, a, a PPR has been published, we will include a link. Um, right in, the, in the, the, the description, just so that it will take you directly to the published PPR. Um, we also included um, the hick and pick dates. And um, as requested, we also included the user webinars and the data performance meeting. And um, for these, we've also added um, the links to the webinars just so that you guys can just easily um, access it through the calendar. Um, and then I also like this because everything's color coded um, just so that it's easier to distinguish um, different events from one another. And I also really like this feature um, where you can use this drop down button um, to filter out all the different categories within the HMIS calendar. So for example, um, if you wanted to only see events relating to the Hick and Pick, um, and also let's say the user webinar and the data meeting. So you would just deselect everything um, else and that it, the calendar will only show you um, events pertaining to those um, categories. Um, so if you guys, can um, please take a look at it and um, let us know if there if you guys have any feedback or if there's anything that else we can add onto the calendar um, just please let us know and we would be more than happy to make the adjustments um, do you guys have any questions regarding the calendar um, i just wanted to add you can also click on the agenda button if you prefer to see the events in written format instead of a calendar. Maybe that's easier for you to print, um, but that's an option also just to kind of get a different view. Uh, let me see if there's any questions. Uh, I'm not seeing any. Like Linda said, if you think of anything that's not on here that you would like added, uh, please enter a ticket with the HMIS help desk and we can do that for you. Um, we just wanted to develop something to kind of help everyone know what's coming up um, and work that they need to do as well as things that we're working on um, just to <laughs> be a little more transparent. Um, all right, I'm not seeing any questions, so I'm going to move on. Uh, let's see. Um, Myra? Yes, can everyone hear me? <coughs> yeah. Okay, so hello everyone. Just a reminder that we will be having the HMIS Data Management and Performance Committee tomorrow, uh, January 9th here at the Village uh, and the CASA Training Room. And we'll be there from 1.30 until 3 p.m. We're gonna be discussing the following uh, agenda items, which include a data request that was received from CSUF that is asking for client level data from HMIS and CES in order for them to complete an analysis of the individual coordinated entry system. Uh, we will also be discussing if HMIS should include an additional field added to a permanent housing project so that they are able to explain why a permanent housing client hasn't been placed into, housing, into a housing unit yet. And finally, we will also be looking at the transitional project performance uh, analysis for this round. Okay. And um, the transitional housing project performance report is already on our website. If you want to take a look, um, we're we're finishing up the transitional housing goals and outcomes report. And once that's finished, we'll we will send an email with both reports, and mm -hmm. that should go out 
uh, by the end of the day today. Okay. Thank you. And I'm not seeing any questions. You guys are easy. Oh, hold on. Um, is a data request I sent a few weeks ago on the agenda for tomorrow. Um, that one is not on the agenda for tomorrow because I haven't gotten a response back yet, Connor. Um, but I'm still working on it for you. Um, all right, so that is the end of our agenda items. So we do have time if there are any questions that you have about HMIS or anything that's coming up that you're unsure about. Um, we could do some quick demos in HMIS if there's anything. Um, now, now is your time, so I'll, I'll wait a minute and see if any questions come in from anybody. Uh, we got a question, any update on the open case notes, uh, the sharing case notes? Um, yes, we're, we're still working on it. Um, we, I, I'm working on developing the, the training for how to enter and share those case notes. Um, and we still are planning on scheduling another working group meeting once that training is completed to to review and make sure it kind of covers what um, everyone needs to know in order to put those case notes into HMIS. Um, it just kind of got a little bit delayed with the holidays and some of the other um, stuff we're working on like the Hick and Pit, but we are, it is still on our radar and we're still moving forward with working on that training. So hopefully um, sometime this month, the working group will be meeting again to review that training. Any other questions? When will the Hick and Pit info be sent? Um, I think we're planning on sending that email out uh, next week. Uh, we want to get it out very soon since the the night of the Hick and Pit is, I believe, the 26th. It's the last Monday of the month. And so we need to get it out very soon so everybody's ready to go um, by that date. So yeah, look for that email within the next week. The good news is it's it's the same as last year. So if you are comfortable with what you've done in the past, then it'll be um, very easy for you. And if you're not comfortable, then we will walk you through it. Any other questions? Sorry, the hick, and the, the hick and Pit date is the 27th, not the 26th. Um, and then the Hick and Pit forms will be due by January 31st. If you joined us late, please enter your agency name into the chat box so we know who is participating in the call. Um, I'm just waiting one more minute to see if there's any other questions.
All right, it looks like questions have stopped, so I'm going to go ahead and end the webinar. Um, our next meeting is scheduled for February 5th at 10 a.m. Um, we will send out an email uh, this week with the wrap-up, including the, the minutes, the PowerPoint slides, and um, the recording of the webinar. And um, as always, if there's any questions, you can enter a ticket with the HMIS Help Desk. And um, thank you guys for attending and have a great day.